Hello everybody, so welcome back to another installment of Indoor Tuesday. So like we have done before and mentioned before, uh, we're going to go down like winds indoor, indoor winds, indoor percussion, and indoor color guard. So this week, since it's our third week of doing Indoor Tuesday, we're going to be doing an indoor color guard. So Isaac, since this is the color guard you recommended, go on and introduce them. Yeah, so today we're going to be doing West Broward 2018, and this show actually won fan favorite in Color Guard category from the Flo Marchi Awards. Um, so there's a little fun fact for you. And this was one of my family's personal favorites from that, sh from that year. And honestly, it's a really great show. It has really great music. Um, absolutely love the concept and the idea of it. And yeah. So we're all really new to all this judging stuff. So especially like... This week, especially, Isaac's new to the indoor in general, and show choir, since they, uh, him and Owen switch off every week, but none of us have judged a indoor color guard, especially I've when... I've been in an indoor color guard. Well, then you're going to be the one that everyone watches your <laughs> tape for, because we don't know what we're saying. Oh, I don't yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying either. I that was in middle school. I've been around indoor yeah, color guards. Me but... too. I've been around it. But I've, I've been never hit by touched equipment. it. I've, I did two years in middle school. <laughs> like, <laughs> see, that's two more years than we have. <laughs> two more years, yeah, exactly. Oh gosh. Uh, so, yeah, this will be new for all of us, and I know the newer judges have not touched wins yet, right? They've touched percussion. No, Isaac hasn't touched percussion yet, right? No, so I think they no, haven't I touched mean, wins. I've been around, obviously, but yeah, too. but. Some ju like just how Mitchell and I did it the first week, and with then we add the new judges. A lot of the new judges are still getting like into it. So, but yeah, Jalen, you're gonna be the light, the lifeline of this podcast. Oh no, you're gonna. Um, the I, okay, the I think I still know how to perform some skills. So, the percussionist that knows color guard green. is here. Okay. <laughs> Ish. <laughs> so. Everything's sort of changing now, especially since uh, we're doing it with a winging format. So, it's a question, uh, I don't know, anyone can answer, I guess. So, when you, you, we've all been close to a color guard, we've all seen a color guard, and we all know what it feels like to do movement, I guess Jalen does from her two years of color guard, but like marching movement, and we do some color guard moves. So, what do you, what is anyone looking for, for just movement, for the, especially the people who are doing the movement, like the movement judging? Jalen or Mitchell? Um, I'm expecting uh, it to you know you can you can you can go out there and do something, but you don't always perform it. I really want them to go out there and perform it like to the best of their ability. I agree. Yeah, you just want to see like the pretty ripples and unison parts and all those cool parts that work together. I think so. I know our mission, like, for this organization is to, like, connect all arts, so I think this is our first time really touching the dancing aspect, and yeah, we've looked at it with, like, marching band, drum corps, and show choir, but this is the first time we're just doing it by itself, so we won't get to hear any music, we don't get to judge any music this time, it's just no. the visual aspect and, like, the artistry of these performers. So, Isaac and I are doing general effect, correct? You're doing general effect? Uh, yes. Yes, and then Mitchell and Jalen are doing visual and movement, I'm, I believe. Or just movement. It's whatever the yes. paper says. Okay. Well, it'll probably, I don't know the order. It might go like Mitchell, Jalen, then me, then Isaac. Hello, everyone. So today we are going to be reviewing West Broward High School's Winter Guard show from 2017 2018. So this is my first time. I've seen I've seen a couple competitions. I've seen a couple shows, but um, I haven't really talked about or really like looked at these shows harder than just oh that's cool. So let's see let's see what they do. So their mat has like a basketball court. Their music is by Macklemore and Ryan Lewis. Interesting.
it's kind of interesting. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of intrigued. Oh, and then they have the... Uh, um, Stoneman Douglas's initials on. Stoneman Douglas on. That's awesome. That was the DCI announcer. Seven years old when I got my first pair. I slipped up something. And it was like, Mom, this air bubble right here is gonna make me fly. I hit that court. And when I jumped, they're all in time with their movements. I think this is like a New York kind of style theme show. This is a very different track of music that I really haven't heard in a guard show before. I, I know from what Carmel's guard shows have been, there's been like all classical music and stuff. Although, to be fair, we did use um, Rolling Stones last year for our A guard. Ah, downtown. I love this. We use this for stretch routine this year. Skateboard boombox. Interesting. They're all in time. I went to the mocha store. Suffers and sales and I was like, what up? What's your budget? And I'm like, honestly, I don't know nothing about mocha. He said, I got the look for you. Follow me. It's too real. Yeah, their their sabers are doing really well. Really nice saber work and then Oh, uh, it's alright. You drop, you drop, it's okay. That's so cool though. Roller skates? They're doing really well with all their tosses. Wow. So, 
acrobatic and awesome. I like how their flag work is really detailed down to this track. It's got the really cool uh, feature, and I like that. They're doing it really well. All right, that was that was interesting. So I really had a fun time watching that. It was very crowd involved. So let's turn it back to the other judges to see what they said. Hi, it's Jalen judging West Broward Winter Guard 2018, and I did say I wasn't color guard in well Winter Guard in my seventh and eighth grade year in middle school, but I don't know anything, so don't take anything I say like to offense. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> they look so, so cool. I love their costumes. They look awesome. And their tarp is really interesting. I've never seen a tarp that was set up like a basketball. Wow. They are serious dancers. Their ripples in unison are really amazing. There's so much movement and they're going so full out. You know, man, rifles, oh my gosh. I can't even explain. I mean, I tried to be on rifle line in middle school, and <laughs> that's probably one of the hardest things I've ever done. I barely, they put me on because of pity. I'm absolutely sure, but it's insanely hard. Just casually sh throwing, like, I don't even know how many, like, seven spins or something like that. That's insane. I really like the flags. Oh man, they're so together. It makes it look so clean. Yes. People didn't even clap for that huge rifle throw because it's so normal in, in this because they do it so easily. Wow. This is such a cool show. I don't know another way to describe it. It's just, it's, I want to say, like, it's just super cool. <laughs> it's a different take on Color Guard, because usually you'll see, like, sappy and movement and flow, and I get it. It's super pretty. But this is, like, a whole other, like, spectrum. They're getting the crowd into it, making it look like so much fun. Uh, 
I don't, I think they're called, I know they're swords, but they're called something else, I'm sure. I know those are excre- <laughs> extremely difficult, so this is amazing. Wow. Roller skates. <laughs> this is so fun. Wow. The choreography is so beautiful. Like, they're all very flowy and fun dancers, but they're also super spunky and on their feet and just pulling off these moves so effortlessly. Man. Wow. Huge throw. So clean. I hate the, there's always like um, a stereotype against color guard, like it's where the dancer girls go whenever they can't get on the dance team or something like that. These are crazy talented people who put their dance into something else and it's amazing to watch. I, there's just so much going on, but it's still really clean. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Bringing out like basketballs. Yeah, they're just adding so much more to a Winter Guard show than you would ever expect. Oh my gosh. Flag tosses. Those are so fun. Wow. Yes. Wow. They are so together. It's just, it's so much fun to watch. Like, so appealing to the eye. I don't know how they didn't win. If they're just fan favorite. I mean, obviously, they're fan favorite, but I want to see who somehow beat them. Wow. A double. Again, they're just having so much fun getting the crowd into it, but also being so technical and together and beautiful and super talented. Oh my gosh, a girl just caught a rifle on roller skates. I can't even have... <laughs> that's insane uh yeah we should watch more of these <laughs> hello everybody so uh i'm gavin i'm doing the west broward high school winter guard 2018 general effect paper with isaac so none of us have judged a color guard before so this will be very interesting and this might be a little bit of a rocky podcast so i'm excited i do like the setup though i like the setup It's like a basketball field. But yeah, Jalen's had two years of experience in middle school with this, so she might be the tape you want to listen to, especially since she's judging the visual and the movement aspect. They're setting up right now, so I'm just talking while they're setting up. Uh, let's see what this performance effect, repertoire effect. Okay. Nice. Some cool judging things. My paper might look weird. Just how it is. Ooh, that's a cool, like, graffiti prop. That's cool. Oh, those are cool costumes. It's like basketball. I mean, it is a basketball court, so. Yeah. Did that say, uh,. Huh, I don't know what it said. Seven years old, when I got my first pair, I stepped outside, and I was like, Mom, this air bubble right here is gonna... I've always, like, admired how people in Color Guard can move so well. I mean, obviously, they work at it, they stretch, so they get this flexibility, but I've always done stretch block, like, with my drum core group and uh, at Tarpon. 
and just like for show car, I stretch like with an anything I have to do. But I've never been able to gain any like flexibility that's crazy like these girls here. And I don't know if there's a guy here, but I see mainly girls here. But just anyone in college they have a lot of flexibility when they work at it, and it looks great. And that rifle toss looked awesome, so. I mean, I can't really judge, like, if I, I mean, I can see, like, forms, and I can see, uh, movements, and if they're out of time, and I can see, like, if they're catching at the same time, but I can't really judge, like, their body shape, because I don't know what it's supposed to be exactly. Nice. Flags all look the same, so I can't really say anything about that. That was awesome. If that is, huh? Never mind. It's gonna comment, but they fixed it. So I was gonna say there's a line in the front that looked a little iffy, just personally, because I'm crazy about diagonals. So that is cool on the fence. Uh, that was not the same between those three individuals. One of them was a little bit like overextended, I think, maybe. And their arm. I, oh, this could be. Okay, I think I might view this sort of like a show choir movement thing. Even though I might not be doing movement, I'm doing general effect, but that move there, their, their arms were not the same length. Like, not length, I should say, the same distance apart. Skateboard. Nice use of props. I love the props. They are definitely into the music. Their mood overall as a Winter Guard is very with the theme of the show. You guys are doing this at an excellent level. I just know from watching my color guard and watching other color guards, even in Marching Man and Jump Corps, that it is a very hard task to do a lot of the things you guys do. And you guys look great doing it. So I can definitely tell you guys are top of your class. You guys are very into the mood and theme. It's a little blurry to just with how fast they're moving, so I can't really see their faces, but I can see those like the brightness of a smile on the parts that probably should have the facial of a smile. So I'm gonna say some great facials and emotional like draws in the audience or to the audience. I say. They're drawing in the audience with the emotions they're expressing. So many props, like, I think those were helmets, and then they have the basketballs, they have the flag designs, they have the, the tarp, they have the, the dumpster, they have so many cool things here. You guys are definitely delivering a great performance. The crowd loves it. Crowd appeal, man. I don't want this performance to ever end for two reasons. They look awesome, 
and uh, I don't know how to really score this. I haven't had really anything I want to pick out general effect wise. I like it. It sounds and looks great. They're interacting with each other very well. Ice, well not ice skates. <laughs> skates. Uh, wow. Yeah, very into that show. I loved everything about that. Like, honestly, that was a great show to watch. Wow. So many things that, like, so many props, so many things that I have to have responsibility for. And you guys delivered it at a high level. And, yeah, I don't know, like, what I should do here. Hmm. I'm probably going to end my tape, and then I'll probably decide off tape and just think about it a little bit more. But, yeah, you guys definitely demonstrated all the performance effect uh, bulletin points and then all the repertoire effect points as well. Like you guys are visual, you were doing it to the music, you had the mood of the music, you had the mood of the theme, uh, the theme, you, you portrayed the theme with the mood you guys were portraying. And you guys add the, you guys were dramatic at the times and needed to be dramatic, you guys did it great. I, okay, yeah. I'll hand you off to Isaac and then we'll jump back into the call. Hey guys, it's Isaac here. So we're going to be doing West Broward 2018 Guard Show. And it's I this is one of my favorite shows from that year. Um, absolutely loved it. Um, very, very, very close between our Tarpon show and this show all the way throughout the year. Um, really, really excited to kind of judge it, look at it from this kind of side. Um, I think it's going to be interesting to see it in this perspective instead of just like watching it as a, you know, just a person just watching it. Um, so I'm going to be judging general effect and let's get right into this. Alright, so love the setup, love how there's a basketball court, everybody's kind of dressed up in the same thing, really, really cool stuff. Nice. Very together. I really like how they're kind of all entering the court at different times, you know, the staging of this is really, really well done. I like how this is a little bit off centered, so it's not, you know, everybody's just looking at the center, you know, again, more of the aspect from the right side instead of just on the center of the stage. Nice. There you go. Nice job. I love the risks that they're kind of taking on these, you know, rifle tosses here. Really, really great job. You know, behind the back or under the legs. Really great job. Nice. Love the music selection as well. Really, really smart. I think it really fits, you know, what your show is and how, and especially with the graphics that you have and, you know, the fence and the trash can next to it. Really, really cool stuff. Nice job, Flags. Somebody got a little bit late on the catch right there, but... There you go. Yeah, we got a little bit off rifles right in the center there. Um, good job, though. I love how everybody's committed to that. So their personal, you know character and what they're trying to portray. Really, really great job. Nice. Love the, you know, skater, skater girl, you know, with the boom box. Really, really cool stuff. Again, to this kind of, you know, flunk type 
beat right here. Yeah, Saber's got a little off right there. Make sure you watch, watch for whoever you're supposed to be watching. Nice. And I love how there's somebody in the back of the fence also doing work. Um, you know, so it's not just anybody who's watching from the front is getting this. It's always, always from the back as well. Nice. Nice, great job. Nice. Looked like maybe a seven there. Really, really great job. Somebody got a little bit late on the release or early, couldn't really tell. I just saw two people. I know there was three there. Job. Dancers are doing a great job of keeping the energy all the way through. Look like uh, one person held on to the helmet. Make sure we are clear on what we're doing with that. It didn't really look all that correct, but love the work. Nice. Love how somebody's tossing out the flags. You know, that's one of my favorite things is seeing that flag soar in the air. Nice. Love the flag feature. Beautiful work. Absolutely love the flag feature here. One of my favorite parts. Nice. Great exchange. All the crowd getting into it, really, really nice job. Nice job. Yeah, all right, so that's Best Friday 2018. Um, absolutely loved it. I mean, they're always committed to the character. That's what I always love about this group is that they always, you know, they have a character set in their mind and they're committed to it all the way through. Really showed energy all the way through as well. Really, really great job. Obviously, we had some technical mistakes. Um, you know, we had a couple people that looked like they weren't maybe in the right spot, or maybe they went a little bit too far to the left, right, whatever it was. Um, still great job, though. I mean, really, really well done. Really well done. All right, we'll get back to the group. Okay, everybody, so welcome back from the tape. So we'll hand it to the visual side of things first. So let's hand it to Jalen first, and she's the experienced color guard master over here. <laughs> so what? Um... <laughs> It was super cool. I've never seen a color guard show like that. Most of the ones that I've seen it, like throughout high school were all like flowy and sappy type of vibes. So this was really different and I really liked it. And they did some crazy throws just so easily and made it look like normal, which is insane, especially rifles. And um, I called them swords because I, I forgot what they're actually. Sabers, excuse Sabers. you. Sabers. Sorry. Yeah, that's amazing. It was super cool, and I thought it was awesome. So. Okay, Mitchell, what about you? Um, I really thought that it was cool. I I liked the track. It was definitely different from anything else. Like from what I've seen, Carmel, we really have done a lot of um, like Jalen said, a lot of. Like, more, like, sappy or... Not sappy. Ugh, I'm looking at, like, more conceptual shows. Like, that weren't, like, 
as like flashy as what Wes Broward did. I also again I like the track they used Ryan Mac or they used Macklemore and Ryan Lewis. God, um, they used Downtown. We used that for our stretch routine song this year. That was fun. Um, but they uh, they had some really nice tosses. They made it look effortless. Um, there were a couple drops I saw, but you know that it'll happen. No matter when, it'll there there it's gonna happen at one point or another. Yeah, but overall, I really was. I probably didn't judge it as hard as I could have because I was I'm completely new to this and just kind of like all taking of it all in. All of us. So are. like, yeah, I don't know. I I think it did really well. Okay, so I mean, yeah, all of us are new to it. So I I said that on my tape. I'm like, I don't know how I should score this. Just because, like, I've done general effect for, like, the indoor winds. And I was like, okay, yeah, indoor winds was better. And, yeah, I'm just new to judging color guard just because I've never been in it. So I don't have the experience. Nor nor does any one of us except Jalen because she's the master over there of color guard and percussion. So a round of applause for her. (laughs) Uh Mitchell, you just oh, tried no. to clap and it like broke your mic frequency. <laughs> it really did. <laughs> uh, so for general effect, uh, I gave them a 97 in the repertoire effect and then a 98 in performance effect. I thought they delivered. They definitely delivered the theme and I think they were very into like the conversations they were having like individually at, with their characters and uh, the crowd appeal. Like, every, everything about that show just was cool they were all into it they set the theme with their mood and their facials drew the audience in so i thought it was cool and i give it a 195 out of 200 and again i think eventually while we get used to it our scores could get lower but not because the groups are getting worse people would say it just because we're getting more experience with it so we can pick out things better so isaac go on to your general effect comments yeah so for me, um, in repertoire, I gave him a 96.3, and for, for performance, I gave him a 96.8. So that totaled out to 193.1. Uh, so for me, I love the staging of the first part. I absolutely love how they're all behind the fence, and then you have the one person comes in, does a little dance solo, everybody starts trickling out. And then um, one of the things that I know we used for our show this year is that we had different parts of our stage, so the staging had so you always had somebody to watch from each side of the arena so it's a full circle effect um i love how instead of just having everybody in front of the fence when you know you're finishing or in the middle of your show there was always um a flag or i saw a saber out, um, behind the fence at one point just so that they had somebody else to watch instead of it being just the main focus mm-hmm. right in the center i thought that was a really cool uh, concept there um, I absolutely love the flag feature at the very end. That's one of my favorite things, watching all the flag features and all the shows, um, especially when they do the exchange toss. It's one of my favorite things in that show. You know, you just get that feeling of really, like, that great feeling of, wow, that's really, really good. Like, that was really solid. Um, obviously, you have those issues of a couple people releasing late or releasing early, um, or I saw a couple technical issues with, uh, like uh, somebody carrying a helmet didn't put it down with everybody else mm-hmm. just little things like that um, but still I mean love the staging love the concept of the show um, love the music like Mitchell said really really great stuff I, I, I do agree with, with that point you were saying how they can uh, have somebody like facing every side because it's I've always been intrigued about how they do it in those stadiums and it's like it's a basketball stadium it's not like the football field how we have so many seats and then everyone's just on one side because in marching band you play it to backfield, but that's only for like an effect. But I like like the color guard groups like we did this year and this group how they just had it on every side, so everyone in the uh, like in the seating got to experience the show and the theme. So uh, how did it feel for everyone to like judge? <laughs> I felt a little weird. <laughs> Just cause. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know you're the, the queen. The are so cool. You're the queen of it, so you can't you can't say that. Your the experience. Queen. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, lost two years in a row. Oh. <laughs> this small school in Missouri. Yeah. Mitchell, did you feel a little uncomfy? <laughs> yeah. It was. 
It was throwing me out of my comfort zone. I wanted to say, wait, where's the style? Where's the marching? Where's the notes? Yeah, I was, I was like, for some reason in my mind, I'm like, where's the hit? <laughs> yeah, <'Cause> I was <laughs> just, I was waiting for it. I'm like, where's the hit? That's the flag feature, man. Where's That's the, the flag feature. Yeah. yeah, I'm like, oh, the hit's yeah, silent. Yeah, flag for sure. There's not a Matt Harlow cross line in here. <laughs> where's Gino? <laughs> like, <laughs> well, uh, for, uh, yeah, I mean, for me, it was obviously what. Yeah, oh no, I was go. just. I'm thinking out loud. You can. Oh, uh, okay, cool. Um, <laughs> I guess for me, it was like, honestly, it was like watching any Dayton or Super Regional with my mom. <laughs> Just like kind of watching it. Like, it was fun. I liked it. It, it was fun. I liked it. I, I'm looking forward to getting better at it in another three weeks. Because, <laughs> you know, we alternate. So next week uh, is Avon indoor wins 2020 so that would be fun uh, we get to do another wins group i know when mitchell and i did that first wins group it was uh there was a Beatles show it was and then there was the milani oh uh, yeah for the max milani yeah but Th- those i love those shows maybe uh, hopefully yeah, the next cool. hopefully the next percussion one is for the max percussion yeah, That'd there we go. Cool. We already we already have the recording for that one. Yeah, we <laughs> Yeah, the CEO sent us a wrong recording and he sent us the percussion one when we were supposed to do the wins, so it's a little funny blooper on their end, but okay. So join us tomorrow for uh, a piece analysis of Shostakovich Symphony number no. ten, movement two and four with Owen. And uh, Mitchell let us know today that he won't be jan- joining us uh, for Thursday, so Owen gets to have another day this week, and he will be replacing Mitchell for that. I gotta podcast. let him. I gotta let him have his time. Yeah. I gotta let him have his time in the spotlight. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he's he's judged it, so we're gonna have to teach Isaac how to judge show choir and on Thursday. So yeah, that's gonna be fun. <laughs> have fun. Join us tomorrow for Shostakovich. <laughs>